Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube. Today I'm just going to be doing a tutorial for you on this look here. Um, it's more kind of like a burnt orangey look with some winged eyeliner and then I just went for a pinky kind of corally lip. Um, it's really easy to do and I'll be showing you how to achieve this look in the tutorial. So keep on watching and I'll talk to you after. Bye! So I've already done my foundation and my powder and I put concealer around my eyes and the first thing I'm going to go in with is my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm just going to be using this as a base and a highlight. So you're just going to put this all the way up to the brow and all over the lid and then just blend in with your finger. Make sure to get in the corner of your eye as well because it's going to act as your highlight. You can also use a brush to blend this in. I just prefer to use my finger as it warms up the product. I'm also going to go into my waterline as well with it and use it as a white eyeliner. This might look a bit harsh at first, but once you get to the finished look, it's not so crazy. So next we're going to be moving on to the lid colour, which is AMC Shine 15 from Inglot. And it's just a lovely coral orange colour and I'm going to be applying this using my Royal and Magnickel mini shader and it's the number C415 so you're just going to pat this all over the lid just using the pattern motion you're going to get more of a colour build up. Don't worry about the edges because they will be blended out. Next you're going in with your crease colour and the one I'm using is the Inglot 335 Matte and I'm using this with a Royal Line Nickel Crease C430. You could also use a MAC 2117 or just any fluffy brush really that you own. So you're just going to apply this into the crease and blend it across as well as upwards. By blending upwards you're just getting a softer um, edge just build that up until it's at the intensity that you want
So now you're going to go in with your darkest colour into the crease and this is the 378 matte from Inglot. It's just a matte dark brown. You can use a black if you want. I just um, chose the brown as a complement to the orange. Only take a small piece of this at a time and blend it in and then you can add more as you go along. Just you can't, you can add more but you can't take away so. Bring that slightly in as well at an angle at the corner. I'm taking this into the whole crease but you can just add it at the corner if you felt that it was just a bit too much for you. I just want really to see the hint of orange at, top, at the top. Now taking a mini flat smudger, this is the Royal Lang Nickel C402 and taking your orange Inglot colour again, I'm just going to take that under the eye, three quarters the way in and same on the other eye. And then taking your brown colour and the same brush, just a little bit of the brown and put that on top of the orange. And also give them a little blend using the brush. in with your MYX Jumbo Milk Pencil and just bring that slightly down to meet that brown colour. Again I'm just using my finger as I feel it warms up the product a bit better. Now taking your angle brush and a black gel liner I'm just using Inglot 77 so then we are going in with our mascara and um, I'm just using the Avon Super Extend Extreme Mascara. I'm just going to apply a couple of layers of this. You can also use false lashes with this look, it's just up to you. And if you got any the white eyeliner on your lashes, this will, um, the mascara will cover that up so no need to worry about that. So now moving on to the face, I already have my foundation on and my concealer and my powder. Um, foundation I use is the MAC face and body and I just applied this with a beauty blender sponge and then for a concealer I just used my Makeup Atelier um, concealer palette I use these two light shades here I use this one just for colour correcting under the eye and then this one as my concealer and then for powder I just use the Rimmel Clear Complexion 
a transparent there. And I put a bit of high beam as well before I put my powder. So just a high beam, I just have a small sample size one. Just on my cheeks, on my um, along the bridge of my nose and just out with my cupid's bow. And I did that before my powder. Um, so for contour, we're just going to use, as I always use, my MUA um, pressed powder in shade 4. And a angle brush. And this one is the LA Academy one. Just one I got from college. So it just looks like this. And just going to start at the ear, under the cheekbone. And blend it out. Contouring can be as soft or as harsh as you want it to be. So it's really just personal preference. Also going to bring it up into the hairline and into the temple. So just blending that out until you get that smooth line and then just going in on the other side again starting at the ear and bringing down for blush I'm just using the sleek rose gold blush And just onto the apples of your cheeks and then blend it upwards. Not so sure about where your apples of your cheeks are, just smile. And that round part is the apples of your cheeks. Now taking my big powder brush, I'm just going to blend the blush and the contour in together. I just feel you get a better blend just using a bigger brush. Moving on to lips, I'm going to be using two products. First of all, I'm going to be using my new Sleek Pout Paint in Milkshake. And I'm using this with the Precision Eyeliner number 7 brush. This cannot work as an eyeliner brush. It's just too big. and it's But it's a really good lip brush. So if you have number 7 vouchers that you get free in Boots, pick up one of these because you'll get it for free. Because it's only like 7 euro. As I've always said before, you only have to take a small piece of the pout paint because the little goes a long way. And then I'm going in with Catrice's 130 Soft Coral. I depotted mine, so that's why it's so small. And just going over that pet paint. Yeah, that's 
the finished look. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!